Welcome to your second lesson of phonics for the week of April 20th through the 24th. This phonics rule is about magic E. It's called drop the magic E rule or the magic E rule. Okay, this is when you have a magic E word and you are going to add a suffix or an ending to the word and you have to drop that magic E before you add the ending. Okay, so some common endings or some, some endings that we use all the time are ing, ed, but remember ed has three sounds, ed says ed, ed says d, and ed says t. Also er and est. All right, let's do one example together. So, we have a magic e word here. Let's read this word, what's this word? Bake, good job, it says bake. Remember, since there's a magic e at the end, it makes the vowel say its name. So instead of a, it says a, b, a, k, and the e is silent. Okay, so now we have to drop this magic e and add our ending. So we're gonna add ing, we're gonna add ed, or we're gonna add er, okay? So I will do that for you. So bake has a magic e. I drop the magic e and add ing, it becomes baking. Bake has a magic E, I drop the E and add ED, it becomes baked. And bake has a magic E, I drop the magic E and add ER, it becomes baker. Okay, so as you can see, boys and girls, I dropped the magic E. See, there's no E anymore right after the K. I dropped that magic E and then I added the ending. I either added ing, I added ED, or I added ER. Okay, some of you may look at this and think, hmm, I see the word bake, they just added a D. Or I see the word bake, and they just added an R. But we actually dropped this E and added ED and ER. If we didn't drop that magic E, it would have two E's and it would look like... like this, okay? We wanna drop that magic key. So drop that magic key and add ED, drop that magic key and add ER, becomes baked and baker. All right. So for your Orton Gillingham, you have two boxes to complete for the magic E rule, okay? What I want you to do for these boxes is Highlight the vowel and circle the ending, okay? Say that with me. Highlight the vowel, circle the ending. We know that the vowel in all of these words is going to be long or say its name because these are magic E words and magic E words make the vowel say their name, okay? Do the same thing in these or in this box over here. You'll have two boxes to practice the magic E spelling rule. All right, you can also refer to this paper and some practice on the back. And same with the 111 rule. If you want to practice, you can practice some words on the back of that. All right, thank you so much. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us and we are here to help. Bye, guys.